Hey everybody, so I wanna give you your Salt Lake County market update and what is happening here in 2024. Folks, we have had some pretty interesting changes really over the last 30 and 60 days. So let me tell you kind of what you should expect and what is going on currently in today's market. So a couple data and information points. So, so the reason why I'm referring to Salt Lake County is I'm one, most of our clients and the people we work with are obviously very metropolitan. So when I talk about Salt Lake County, I'm also referring to some of the data that is not only local to the metropolitan, but when I talk about the state in general, the numbers are just different. So know that I am gonna to refer to Salt Lake County statistics and data, but it is also very close. If you are looking for information for Davis, Utah, Weber, uh, even Summit County, please reach out, I'll get you those exact numbers. But the information is very similar here in the metropolitan markets. But really what you should know is, is when you look at sold listings, for example, in the county, they're just like literally a little over a thousand that have occurred within essentially the last 30 days. Now, the number that you should be aware of is that's up about 7% compared to last year. Now, the interesting information, and I apologize, let me let me correct that. The sold properties is down 7% compared to last year, but the under contract properties that we currently have are actually up almost 4%. So the amount of sold homes are less than we had last year, but the amount of under contracts homes are more than we had this time last year. What's also, also significant about that is when I look at the supply and demand of properties, right now we typically about have been running really kind of in between a two to three month supply depending on the seasonal months. Right now we're really only running about a one and a half month supply. What does that mean? The amount of inventory available versus the amount of people that are actually purchasing. So we are seeing a higher activity in sales volume. Now, what's interesting, what has changed over time is that interest rates over the last few weeks have essentially gone up. They went from kind of that 7.5% rate as high as 7.5%, and then they kind of have trickled and kind of been going in between. They've stabilized, but kind of been sticking in that a little bit higher uh, interest rate. Now that obviously affects your rate, that also affects your price. But what you should know as a consumer, as an owner, as a seller, as an investor, as a buyer in the market, is that we are seeing a number of significant changes. And let me just give you the three that you should just be aware of. Number one, as we have seen more people come into the market, we are starting to see multiple offers. More people making more aggressive offers, higher earnest money, shorter dates, and multiple offers. A recent home that came on our market came on 525. Now they did price it aggressively, okay? That property had nine offers and it was bid up as high as $560,000. Now the home itself, really was worth 560,000 in its current condition. But the fixed up or after repair value was probably closer to 625, 635, uh, depending on the finishes that you do put on it, as high as 650, you know, if you're really going for some really good features and benefits and, and, and selling it at a premium. My point is, is that we haven't seen that type of activity in the past and we are starting to see it now. But the interesting caveat is, is the interest rates are higher. The incentive of the market, the terms of the market are not helping people to say, hey, come get this home. It's the demand. So we're seeing that higher demand. Now with that, we are seeing to number part two, concessions that sellers are giving. The reason that's important to know is that sellers are willing to give a certain concession or assistance or help to a buyer in order that they can get into that home, meaning for example, we are seeing a number of offers on our listings. I believe we currently have 16 properties, homes that we are listing under contract. And a majority of people are asking anywhere from, you know, 1% to 3% in the closing costs in order to buy down the interest rate, assist them with financing, providing them the opportunity to secure a better term on the market, a better rate. So just because the market has maybe favorable on interest rate, buyers and sellers are actually making that concession on the back end. And that's how real estate's done, folks, is they're making those concessions. Other interesting data that you should just quickly know about, uh, compared to last year, days on market, which does go back to our conversation, has gone down almost 11% compared to last year. In fact, we're running about on average in Salt Lake County, about 49 days on market. Uh, just, you know, on our team, you know, we are still kind of more hovering around that 21 to 22 days on market with our listings. Now, I will just say this as a caveat, we are preparing them better. 
we are spending more time preparing them in for market, whether it be virtual staging, physical staging, going through the pricing, any fix up that is necessary. So they're improved properties on the market, show better, look better, feel better, smell better. So days on market is less because they are essentially a little bit more prepared for market, okay? But that average time on market is less, meaning again, there is higher demand in the market, there, so therefore homes are not staying on the market as long. Folks, I think what you should just really consider if you are looking at today's market and being very strategic is just know, number one, what is your financing options? We can definitely put you in touch with the lender and financing that is available. We are looking at different things. We've done everything from seller finance to adjustable rate mortgages to fixed mortgages, and it does depend on your situation and what you're doing to make sure what matches. Two, now is a fantastic time in the market to buy. But the reason why is, is because sellers have been able to get a premium price due to the demand, but buyers that are strong buyers are able to put deals together. So I just feel like as soon as interest rates drop, folks, we're gonna see a change in pricing. And if people are saying, I'm waiting for prices to come down, I am just not seeing it happen. Now, I don't know what'll change in the market, economics, jobs, things like that. But as far as the indicators that are coming our way, the information that I've shared with you, it is a positive, strong market. We are going up in prices. We are seeing the demand just higher than what the supply of the market is. And as that continues, that causes growth. Folks, if you're looking for information on the market, you're looking for homes that you're looking to get on the market and what you should strategically do so you can get the most money or you're buying a home and what you should maybe consider. Obviously, we're an open book and you can reach out to us, but we hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, please reach out and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.